Hey, what's up guys? Zuki Buki here with another TF2 tutorial for you guys today. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to get air shots as Soldier and Demo Man, and how to master and become an expert at doing so. Maybe you've seen some of your favorite YouTubers or players like Banny get insane air shots flawlessly on seemingly every airborne player that they encounter. First off, erase any doubts of yourself you have in your mind, because I can promise you, you can become just as good as the pros if you follow my advice in this video, and most importantly, dedicate a bunch of time for practicing. Also, don't have the misconception that this video is instantly going to make you a platinum skilled player, because similarly to many other things in this game, it takes a considerable amount of time and effort to get to the point where you're crazy good and can hit every airborne target like nothing. But don't let that discourage you because I promise you that you'll master it if you keep at it. With that being said, let's move right into the tutorial. The easiest rocket launcher to air shot with is the direct hit due to it having the fastest projectile speed. It also additionally mini crits airborne targets, which is really cool. I would suggest using this rocket launcher or the stock while learning due to these two rocket launchers being the most commonly used amongst pros. If you're torn between the stock launcher and the direct hit, I'd suggest watching my video where I compare the two. Many feel the Liberty launcher isn't quite as good as the other rocket launchers, and the black box and the cow mangler are going to function the same as the stock launcher. And of course, it goes without saying that the beggar's bazooka is an awful choice due to the rockets shooting super inaccurately and the little delay before you can shoot. Grenade launcher wise, the lock and load is going to be the easiest for the same reasons as the direct hit. The loose cannon comes next speed wise with its 20% bonus, and finally the stock and the iron bomber are tied for last despite still being great weapons. However, slight variations in projectile speed may occur as a result of the differently shaped pipes for each gun. So I would recommend sticking to one or two grenade launchers for the most part because the slight differences in projectile speed may trip you up. The basic fundamentals of air shooting are quite simple. You predict where an airborne target is going to be and shoot there. It is by far easiest to get an air shot on a flying target at the apex of their jump, meaning when they've reached the tippity top of their jump and freeze in the air for a moment before falling back down. Once you get better at predicting how fast an enemy is moving upwards relative to your rocket speed, you should be able to hit enemies on their climb and on their descent as well, but at first just shoot enemies at their apex, compensating for both your rocket speed and the distance you are from the target. Also, if your target is on the ground, simply aim and shoot a rocket or pill at their feet, and if they are walking just right, they will be sent flying into the air. Experienced players will use this to their advantage, rocket jumping off your rocket and strafing away or towards you, so be careful. One major setback for getting air shots is enemies strafing in the air. One who is inexperienced at rocket jumping will not strafe much while airborne, making for a relatively easy air shot. However, a soldier who has practiced on jump maps and is really good at strafing can move around very unpredictably. If possible, it is best to shoot these players as soon as they leave the ground, while they're still being forced in the direction their rocket or sticky sent them and they don't yet have time to strafe. If you have height advantage on an opponent and hit them in the head from above, you can send them flying back into the ground to take a hefty amount of fall damage and possibly die. If you hit your opponent just right, you'll saw them in the air right in front of you, allowing you to juggle them, hitting them with another air shot and possibly even a third. Sometimes you'll hit an enemy in their lower portion while they're first leaving the ground, hilariously sending them flying into the air. Despite it looking hilarious, it will make it much harder to follow up on them while they're that high, and they may be able to shoot downwards at you and kill you or strafe away. For Demo Man, the same basic rules apply, but you must compensate for the arc of your grenade trajectory, so it is a bit harder in my opinion to land air shots as Demo. So, you might feel really overwhelmed with all this new information, and I apologize for that, I just wanted to explain everything in depth for you, so you know exactly the best way to go about air shooting. Now let's move on to the third and most important, as well as most fun step, MGE. The best way to practice air shooting is by playing on an MGE server, where you can 1v1 another soldier or demo man in a deathmatch like setting on a tiny little portion of a map. The only way air shooting is going to become natural to you is by practice. Practice against your friends or randoms on an MGE server and you will eventually find yourself hitting more and more air shots until you master it and are ready to put this new skill to use in actual play. On MGE, there's a map dedicated to air shooting called Endif that I highly recommend. On this map, you can only deal damage to your enemy while they are above a red line, meaning you have to shoot them into the air and get an air shot on them in order to kill them. In my opinion, this is by far the greatest method for getting better at air shooting for both Soldier and Demoman. 
However, if you want to practice offline, you could also practice against bots alone on the map TR walkway. Just keep to it and I promise you that getting air shots will eventually be easy and come natural to you. All it takes is a bit of time and dedication. Practice makes perfect. With that being said, I hope this video helped you and I wish you the best of luck. If you're new to my channel, feel free to stick around for more TF2 videos like this and like the video if you did. Also, feel free to check out my other tutorials and my series of videos discussing balance issues of certain weapons. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, and peace out.